I'm bored, I'm lonely, I don't know how I feel. Pictures in my head, I don't care anymore. Nothing matters, she's ruined my life. I don't want to know the world, not now, not ever, because nothing matters. I want her to pay for the hurt and pain she caused. She should know how it feels. She must and she will. After all, she's a human too. But I'm not to keep quiet about everything. For my own safety. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. In case you're wondering, I do have friends. But I don't deserve them. She told me so. Hello? Hi, Mom. Hey, sweetie. How are you doing? I'm alright. Baby, at the moment, I can't talk to you. I'll talk to you as soon as I get home, okay? I just want to talk to... I just wanted to talk about something with you. Okay. Baby, I can't talk to you right now. You're always busy. You never have time for me. You never have any time for me. You're always Bye. Busy. I'll talk to you as soon as we get home. Bye. First was the only black kid or the only brown kid. They just started bullying me for nothing or calling me names. They'll just come and laugh at me or oh, slap me. Some people like she slapped me and shouted at me and bad talking. And people were just like bullying me for no reason. Sometimes I'm just walking the bus, run, slap me, push me to the bushes. For no reason. It just brings you down to a position where you, to a level where you think, why should I live? Why should I go to school? Or why should I make something of myself? Or s such things like that. Did you tell anyone about it? No. Hi, are you alright? Yeah, sorry. How is school being? Well, it's all right. Uh, how's Chantal been? She's really getting on my nerves. I can't yeah. stand it now. She just, we came up, we came from assembly and then she pushed me. And my shoulders were really hurting. You should tell her to stop it. Like, because it can get worse. What do you think I should do? At that time, I didn't feel like I needed to react, so I kept everything quiet. And besides, if I reacted, I was kind of like a bit afraid that I wouldn't have friends or people would turn against me for no reason, which they already did. I was kind of like really shy and I didn't know where I was at all. Oh, there's a nice um, counselor in our school. Oh, what's she called? Yeah, she's called Andrea Hopper. And do you help her? Uh, Alright, I'll go and see it. Yeah, you should, because she'll be able to help you. Alright, fine. Sorry. Uh, hello, Rebecca. Hello. And how are you? I'm alright. How's everything going? It's alright. It doesn't look like everything's alright. After assembly, Chantel bullied me. Uh, what was she bullying you? Do you have an idea? I don't know, she took my word off me. Some schools have social workers as well. They can go and talk to them, but then if the schools don't do anything, they're just going to be thinking, oh, what's the point of me being here when there's... Uh, 
when there's nobody to talk to. Did she just come on to you for no reason? Did you do anything to her? No. I think Tisha, she's trying to get involved with the students more. Or maybe have a discussion, listen, maybe one lesson or so where they can have a discussion and talk about what is troubling the, um, the students of today or what's going on in their life. She's annoying me. She needs to stop. Have you spoke to anyone about her? I tried to talk to my mom, but she was busy anyway at work. Right. Well, what do you want us to do to help you? It continued. It continually deteriorated to the point where, like, my mom, when she was going to work or when she was going to school, I would come in, I would sneak back into the house and stay the whole day, not go to school for like two weeks. But then my mother caught me and she dragged me to school. And at that time, we had kind of like a big meeting with the teachers. And they were encouraging me that I have to stand up for myself, including my mother saying that I have to stand up for myself and if I didn't, things wouldn't really get better. So from there on I started standing up for myself and people didn't like it because I was standing up for myself. But as time progressed, they really, I couldn't give up, but the teachers really helped me a lot. So from there on it really just stopped, just died down. Okay, I'll try to talk to her to get her to come. They should try to not only help the person who's getting bullied, but also the person who's bullying the person. Because you may find out that there's so in so many circumstances, those people who are getting those people who are bullying other people may have problems as well. Maybe it's because they've been bullied as well, or it can be because they want to be. Popular or we need to we need to try to understand them, you know. And sometimes the person that's bullying you is not sometimes just bullying you because they hate you. They probably have issues with themselves and then not just you need someone to talk to because you've been bullied, they might need someone to talk Anything. to as well. Okay. Well I could try contact your mom if she'll be able to come in and we can have a discussion with her. The people do grow up and sometimes they just forget or we just move on. But then sometimes it can affect someone's whole life and you won't know that. You won't realize how much damage you caused. Yeah. So people have to be shown like just how much damage just a little bit of bullying can cause.